My father, Logan Roy, was a great man in the true sense of the word. Don't I perhaps remind you of him just a little? His demise was carried, written in fire, over seven continents. A great man, indeed. She should be cry. See Teddy die. See Roman the showman light up the sky. I am the man. I am the man. Here we go. The 5 p.m. All good? Yeah, I'm good. Greg, considering it, I gotta deliver the best election numbers ever because my bosses want to rip my heart out as a peace offering to all comers. So, no, Greg, you know, I'm a little bit tense. Just a little bit, a little bit tense. Well, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. The tension at the heart of the episode is people's different political instincts, their professional interests, their corporate interests, colliding in this very um, direct way. And, and we had some great political advisors who, who helped us find a way to the particular situation of the, of, the, of the fire that happens in the episode. OK, so if it happened in Milwaukee, and if it's deliberate, then it's Mankinist, no? False flag, could be. You can't just say false flag false every flag. time you don't fucking false agree flag. with something. And, you know, sometimes when we talk about it, we'd be in the room and be going, but does, does this feel real? And then, you know, you feel like, wow, you know, in the early Republic and then in, like, 1960 and in, in, in year 2000 and 2016, these, these unbelievably close uh, uh, election moments kind of keep on coming in the U.S., so it felt legitimate to have, to have another one. Arizona is going to go red. All right, well, then that's, uh, that would be it. Right, Tom? I think to Roman, he, he says it, it doesn't, it really doesn't matter to him who the president is. It's the president's the president, who cares what's best for us. And I think it's really nice for me when I show up to work and have to play the character when Roman has a one clear objective and focus. This is how it is. Just call it and then that was a lot of fun to play. Uh, we have the votes, so can't rerun fairly and can't let lefty terrorism affect this. So let's call it. The election episode is a spectacular episode. I think it's just an incredible script, and it's nonstop. The pace is crazy. Wasabi is all I'll say. <laughs> this wasabi, wasabi in my eyes? Oh, I've got wasabi Jesus. in my eyes? Oh, wait, eyes. wait, wait. Put, put water in it. Put, put water in it. Uh, oh, it's, it's wasabi. It's lemon. It's lemon. It's lemon. The wasabi scene, that's one of the best scenes I think we've ever done, too. I've never had wasabi in my eye. Um, I'd imagine. It's horrible. But if you don't have saline or anything, I guess La Croix is a pretty good backup. Oh, Boy, Jesus H. Christ. No, it's natural, like oh, medical. Geez, man. Give it to me. Oh, my God. It's gosh. not that lemony. Mark is commenting directly, ATM voice. At that point, I don't think anyone wants Mankin to be president. Maybe some of the crazies heard they were underperforming and decided to stop the counting and destroy the evidence. Roman we'll said talking points. What we oh. think was on those ballots. I mean, yes, Shiv is being. Uh, uh, clandestine about her intentions. But at the same time, that's exactly what he's doing. He's like, I want Mengen to win so I can be top dog, I can be CEO, I can, like, have the power. I was like, cool, that's fine, except it's Mencken. It's Jared Mencken. All of it was painful. We need to be smarter than this, better than this. We need a fucking opposing viewpoint. It's convenient that it's an altruistic side for her. I think, you know, <laughs> let's remember she's not an altruist. <laughs> But, but she does believe in, in democracy and, like, you know, dictators not being president. No play ball. Thank you very much. Talk semiconductors. We just made a night of good TV. Nothing happens. Things do happen. No. Um. HBO Max becomes Max starting May 23rd.